What's happening YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. We're having a great day. Why? We got a new Airstone. Yeah. Hyger gave us a new Airstone to check out, see what it looks like, and share it all with, with you. Uh, so we're really pumped to see what this can do. I mean, are you excited? You ready to tell everybody about what this new bubbler can do by Hyger? Yeah. High five! All right, go. Everyone's watching. I don't know what to say. Uh, uh, to read the package. Just tell them what the watts are. All right, so Alex and I are super excited to talk about this new Airstone. Yeah. Uh, Alex, what do you think we could expect to see out of this acrylic Airstone? Bubbles. Yeah, bubbles. Uh, what kind of power do you think it generates? How many watts? Um. Right, so, uh, this thing literally doesn't have a single watt. It doesn't? Uh, yeah. Uh, in fact, it's more likely to generate snow. Uh, so, yeah. Let's get to the assembly. You want to go in rapid speed and put this thing together? Yeah. Yeah, rapid speed. Alright, welcome back. Now, uh, Alex, how difficult was it putting this together? Not that hard. On a scale of zero being no difficulty at all and ten being extremely difficult, what would you rate this? Zero. Oh, he says zero. Okay, well there's your answer. Uh, and it does come with its little pair of pliers here that you stick in these holes to adjust the bubble flow and also to remove the top section of the bubbler when you need to clean it. So let's go take it downstairs and put it in the 40 gallon and see what this looks like in comparison to the other one. Okay. Does that sound good to you? Yep. Let's do it. All right, so there's the original bubbler and some of you may be uh, familiar with it because I did a bubbler video a month ago and I thought I would not be doing bubbler videos ever again, period. But we got a new one. Uh, so, these are your typical blue ones. That one I had to do a cleaning on, and it, you know, it's it's fine. But we're going to put this acrylic one on and see how it looks and see what kind of bubble, bubble situation we got going on. So, this is what my bubbles currently look like. So, let's see what it looks like in comparison. All right. Ooh. Hey, Alex, come look. Oh, yeah, look at the action up there. I love bubbles. Dude, what do you think? I mean, cosmetically, it looks awesome. What do you think? I'm I, agreeing with you. I, I mean, I think from this disc in comparison to that old 99 cent Airstone, this is definitely putting out. A little bit more, more fun. And uh, it, it is made out of a, a acrylic. The cleanup on it is supposed to be uh, easy. You're just taking it apart and wiping it down. 
as opposed to what I taught everyone to do with those cheap 99 cent um, blue air stones. You don't got to scrape it with the scissors. And also, it comes with a uh, check valve. Uh, uh, if you don't know what that is, it's actually pretty cool that it comes with one. That prevents water from going up the tube and down into your pump. And the rule of thumb with check valves as to where you put them, you don't need them submerged. You want them closer to the pump. And here's a picture. There's always a little clear arrow on there that shows you which direction it should be facing. And it should always be facing in the direction of the airflow. So, All right. So to wrap this up, I got the largest size, uh, which is... 80 millimeter. Now, I don't know what their intentions were for this particular one because it's the largest, uh, but it's doing beautifully in that 40 gallon and I'm going to continue to use it. Uh, and it, I mean, it looks cool too. So it makes my tank look a little bit more pimp than that uh, uh, blue 99 cent Airstone. Now, they are labeled as nano pumps, but I mean, I would presume that's for this one. Now, Keep in mind, this these acrylic air stones uh, don't require serious cleaning. It comes with this tool, and you simply just stick it in the holes in, in the top, and you can take it apart. Here are the sections. I'll throw a picture of it up right there, uh, and you just wipe it down. So as far as its longevity, I don't know. I know it's guaranteed for a year. The large one is 26 bucks. Do I consider that expensive? Yes. I'm a huge penny pincher. I mean, I just got an upgrade from a 99 cent... Uh, blue airstone to a $26 airstone. Do I think it's worth $26? Well, you know, things are worth whatever people are willing to spend on it. And if you're getting no sales at the price that you put it at, you're going to have to come closer to cost, you know, so, and bring it down. So, you know, I guess they'll, they'll just have to see. And also, I don't know what the average price is of these types of um, airstones are either. Uh, I never look at them um, because I, I just can't spend that much on an airstone. I think it looks awesome. I am happy I have it. So keep that in mind. Some people do have the extra money to spend uh, on things to make their aquariums look uh, more appeasing. I'll put a link to this in the description. I'll also pin it in a comment if you want to uh, find it and check it out. Uh, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Uh, if you want you want to spend uh, $26 on an Airstone, I, I could understand that. It looks nicer. Um, and it apparently will also generate more oxygen and um, diffuse CO2, etc., etc. I don't know. It's a bunch of bubbles, okay? And I know bubbles help, so I like the bubbles. I hope you all have had, have had a wonderful day. And if you're down in the dumps, you're having a bad day, get up and do something. But first, like and subscribe. Alright, now go do something. Thank you.